two sump plugs on the M3 V8. So there's one at the front which holds a small capacity. That one's quite uh, poor. Let me just grab the tool and I'll show you. Quite a lot of movement in it, but I have managed to undo that one, no problem. This one here, which is the main oil uh, sump, that one, still quite a lot of play, but it does undo. I'm just gonna show you. It, as in, it's, it, I can turn it, but it wasn't very tight, and it just simply does nothing. It goes tight and then goes loose now. So you've got a threaded, uh, or a cross-threaded sump and sump plug. It's not the end of the world if it's just the sump plug because those can be replaced for a couple of pounds. If it's the sump, obviously this big main piece at the bottom of the engine which holds all the oil, then um, that's obviously a different story. That's quite a problem because it means once we are able to find a way to get this bolt out, as you can see it's just spinning, doing nothing, um, then we have to find a way to actually put a new one in onto a thread which may be damaged and it needs to seal oil, so it's obviously a very critical component. Um, interestingly, you can't do any damage by simply what we're doing, undoing it, so this has happened during the, maybe the last person or the second last person to put a sump plug in. They've obviously over tightened it and therefore it's what we call stripped the thread. Um, Amazing that it's not really leaked. There is a wetness to the bottom of the sump, but it's not actually any leaking. But even though I'm unscrewing it, as you can see, there is no oil dripping out of it. So it's not actually um, leaking as such, but we need to obviously get that out to solve a problem. Uh, you can just start to see now. Now I've disturbed it. You can just start to see the trickle of, or a shine of oil, I think, coming down around the outside. But Anyway, we need to find a way to get that out to obviously drain the oil because there's 9.3 litres of oil in the sump, which we need to get out first. Um, and then secondly, we, uh, we need to work out a solution for you, whether it be a replacement sump or whether that sump gets repaired. But obviously just giving you a So there's the sump. Um, we've got a front oil drain down in there. That one was the one that was okay. And then the one at the rear, you can just see in the distance, there's still a little bit of oil in there. But if I tilt it backwards, and rest it up. You might be able to see it come into view now and you can also see the damage that we find on the inside of this sump so that's what's present um, and obviously stopping the um, oh actually that looks like it could already be a helicoil I think that is a helicoil it looks a little bit different to the rest of the cast of the sump but anyway, that's what we found and uh, that's what's inside the sump. So we're going to turn the sump over and plan to, um, to do a, attempt to do a helicoil, sorry, a time cert repair. So that's what it looks like upside down the other way around. And now you can see the damage inside where the thread is very poor. So I don't really know how people over tighten these. They've got a torque, which is 25 newton meters. It's quite poor that these are over torqued. I mean, that is terrible thread. So no wonder it wasn't really doing much. And i um, quite surprised it was actually sealed at all. But there it is, that's what we've got to deal with. So we're, um, we're gonna attempt the time cert repair shortly. So the sump has now been drilled out. So you can see the sump plug or the casting, which is what's there with the thread in it originally. Still quite a bit left of thickness, but there's no thread left in it now because we've drilled it out, ready for the special tap, which is part of the BMW toolkit. And also, I was clever, when I turned it upside down, I stuck some blue roll to the back edge of this bit, so when it was upside down carrying out the drilling process, the swarf would land on the blue roll, which then I've taken out of the engine, and it's all luckily stuck to it. So we've managed to get pretty much everything out all in one go and it was just only a few little bits at the bottom that I had to get out so that's good news. So here's the kit, I realise I've started using it so I thought I'd video before I go any further. Here's the specialist drill bit which in this case is 14.5 then we've got the 16.5mm tap uh, then we've got the time cert which is the um, special strong piece of thread which is far stronger than the helicoil system there's the drive tool or the installation tool because luckily it's hex inside so you can really get that driven in nicely. 
Here's the specialist Loctite sealer to seal that new outer diameter time slip thread to the sump um, via the threaded tap that we're going to obviously create a new thread in the sump. And then here's the new sump plug and also the, um, the copper washer. So we've done the tap in, here's the specialist tap which is um, now finger tight all the way through so that tells you how good the cut has been on this brand new tap. Um, obviously we're clearing the aluminium swarf out as we go because we've got the sump off the car so we've got great access to it. I've already done two sweeps, this is just a third pass just to show you how good it is. It's now, like I say, finger tight. So um, should be able to see if we can focus on it. Now I've got the torch on so it's a bit too bright. But you've got too much reflection on there but there is some nice cut threads in there. Yeah, that gives you a little bit better of an angle there. You can see the different rings on the, um, the pitch of the thread. So now I've taken the flash off the camera and cleaned the thread of any last oil residue. You can see that the, the thread is a lot clearer, a lot more visible. This is the specialist cut thread that we've used with the tap. And I just want to show how good a cut that was, ready to install the BMW time set. So we've put the BMW supplied under part number, even though BMW don't make it, the Loctite 270, which is what they supply with the kits. With the installation tool, it's on the thread inside and on the thread on the outside diameter, as you can see. And that's not on the inside where we're putting our new sump plug, but you can see the green, which is now actually, probably because there was so much on there, is actually starting to spread outwards, but that's okay. Not the end of the world. We've got it on the inside of the thread, which we applied with a pick, so not to get any dropping into the sump. And on the outside, we applied it fully before we installed it. So you can see BMW have done their research when supplying this Loctite for the time to repair kit that they offer. They've supplied Loctite 270, which although it's green, uh, traditionally you'd expect it to be something like a red. Red is normally the, the most highest strength one. The, um, the actual features and benefits on the website are actually quite impressive. So it says it's a permanent locking system, which is excellent, exactly what we want. Um, it permits disassembly with hand tools, which is also great, so it's unlikely to come undone when we undo a sump plug. Bear in mind the sump plug has to be talked to only 25 newton meters so it's really nothing serious to worry about uh, it's an m12 by 1.5 mil automotive pitch thread um, an m12 bolt which is say on like the rear suspension on one of these cars would normally take somewhere between 77 um, and 90 95 newton meters for a suspension component if it was a wheel bolt for example which are m12 by 1.5 as well um, they will take 120 even up to 140 newton meters uh, as advised by bmw so the the thread that we're installing only has to go to 25 newton meters so really not much to worry about so it's looking very good and the other thing as well the other benefit can be disassembled by heating to 300 degrees so that's also great you know we haven't got too much to worry about about this loctite um coming undone or not being set in strong enough things like that um, the only thing that is interesting, it says proven to be tolerant of minor, minor contamination, um, i.e. motor oil. So we will see, once we've run the car up to temperature, we'll obviously want to see what's going on, if it's actually made a, a seal as well as a locking point to the um, time set. Obviously we don't want to see any oil seeping past, so we'll monitor that and update the video accordingly. So we've left that locked tight to dry uh, and it's now perfectly fine it's set the time set is in the BMW sump so that's pretty much central we've just obviously enlarged the center hole so it should be central and it's a two millimeter sidewall so a very strong piece of new thread not like a helicoil which is just wire and obviously isn't very thick this is actually uh, a machined piece so it's two mil wide very thick and gives us a nice m12 by 1.5 mil thread ready for the brand new sump plug and also the copper washer and that simply screws in finger tight so it's nothing you know the thread's perfect that's what I'm showing now and then once the copper washer hits then we can torque that up. So the sump plug torque is 25 newton meters which we've got there and this will be tricky because I'm trying to do it one-handed
there we go it talks perfectly fine so that is safe to use we can get this fitted to the bottom of the engine um, and obviously once the oil is in there and the engine's running to operate in temperature then we can check for a final check for leaks so as you might be able to hear we've got the engine running and we're just checking both sump plugs now front one was always likely to be fine we can put a new plug in there and it's a new copper sealing washer and there's no leaks in there and this is the one that we repaired with the time set insert perfectly dry you can see the copper washer behind there, the new sun plug, it topped to 25 newton meters. We actually tested how far it would go, we didn't stress it too much, but it easily achieves 30 newton meters. And then we backed it out and put it back to 25, so we know it's perfectly safe to reuse. Um, and that's a, a good successful repair. Just to finish the repair, I've put a little note on there for anybody that future works on the car. I mean, it should be quite obvious to people when it's a small sump plug to check the torque trigger. Obviously, the previous people who have been talking this sump plug, somebody at some stage has been really careless, and hence why we're in this situation. They've just either not used the torque wrench or used the little electric gun, but it's 25 newton meters, and we put that there to show them that it's um, only got to take a small amount and that there is a time to install. So to be extra vigilant when they're re-talking that sump plug in the future.